Nayar. Today in this video we are going to discuss multiple methods how to solve questions based on modulus function. Before solving the question let us understand the definition of a modulus function is the distance for a given point from the origin. Mod x equal to 5 that means x is there at point 0 it travels 5 units either forward or backward so x will be equal to plus 5 or minus 5 having understood the definition of modulus function let us solve a question with two modulus functions question solve for x mod x minus 3 plus mod x minus 7 equal to 2 traditional method method 1 mod x minus 3 plus mod x minus 7 equal to 12. The critical points of x are 3 and 7. Draw a number line with the critical points 3 and 7. There are 3 cases in this problem. The value of x can be less than 3. The value of x can be between 3 to 7. The value of x can be greater than 7. Case 1. x is less than 3. If x is less than 3, suppose if I put x equal to 0, mod of 0 minus 3, it is 3. If I put x equal to minus 1, mod of minus 1 minus 3 is mod of minus 4, which will be 4. So if x is less than 3, mod x minus 3 will become minus of x minus 3. If x is less than 3, mod of x minus 7 will also become minus of x minus 7. So the first case minus of x minus 3 minus of x minus 7 equal to 12 minus x minus x minus 2x plus 7 plus 3 equal to 12 from there you will get the value of x. Next case x lies from 3 to 7 if x equal to 4 mod of 4 minus 3 is 1. So if x lies from 3 to 7 mod of x minus 3 will become x minus 3 mod of x minus 7 will become minus of x minus 7 if x is from 3 to 7 the equation will become mod of x minus 3 will become x minus 3 mod of x minus 7 will become minus of x minus 7 so this will become x minus 3 minus of x minus 7 equal to 12 this is an invalid case next case x is greater than 7 if x is greater than 7 then mod of x minus 3 will become x minus 3 mod of x minus 7 will also become x minus 7 so the equation will become x minus 3 plus x minus 7 equal to 12 2x minus 10 equal to 12 2x equal to 22 x equal to 11 so there are three cases in this question x less than 3 x lies from 3 to 7 x greater than 7 this is the traditional method to solve this question. Let us see method 2. Listen carefully this method 2. It is the most logical way to solve this question. Mod of x minus 3 plus mod of x minus 7 equal to 12. There are two critical points 3 and 7. Let me call two people standing at two different points 3 and 7. Let A be there at point 3. Let B be there at point 7. So A and B combinedly they need to travel total 12 units. There are three cases. A can come to B. A and B can go to the right side of B. Second case. B can come to A and A and B can go to the left side of A. Or A and B can come in the opposite direction. A and B cannot come in the opposite direction. Why? Because between 3 to 7 if they meet at any point between A and B the total distance travelled by them will be 4 but according to the question it is 12 so A and B cannot travel in opposite direction case 1 A will come to B and A and B will go to the right side of B between 3 to 7 A will come to B so 3 will come to 7 4 units already travelled from 7 out of 12 units, 4 units already travelled. Remaining 8 units needs to be travelled. How many people are there? A came to B. Remaining 8 units are travelled by 2 people. So, the answer will be from point 7, 
remaining 8 units needs to be travelled by 2 people. So answer will be 7 plus 8 by 2. Answer is 11. Second case. B will come to A. 7 reached 3. Already 4 units travelled. From point 3, I need to travel 8 units to the left of 3. 8 units to the left of 3. How many people has to travel? Again, 2 people has to be travelled. Right? 8 units to the left of 3 will be a negative value. So, answer will be 3 minus 8 by 2. 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So, the answer will be minus 1 or 11. This is by using distance approach. Now, you might get a doubt while watching this video. What if the right hand side is less than the distance between two critical points? What if the right hand side distance is equal to the distance between the critical points? Suppose if it is mod x minus 3 plus mod x minus 7 equal to 4. If the question is like this, where the right hand side is equal to the gap between two critical points. That means, let us solve it logically mod x minus 3 plus mod x minus 7 equal to 4 critical points will be 3 and 7 now 3 will come to 7 4 units there is no distance needs to be traveled it will halt at point 7 so answer is x equal to 7 7 will come to 3 already 4 units traveled still there is nothing to travel it will halt at 3 so x equal to 3 x equal to 7 between 3 to 7 irrespective of whatever the point they are meeting between 3 to 7, if they meet at any point, the total distance travelled will be 4 only. If they meet at point 4, 3 will come to 4, 1 unit. 7 will come to 4, 3 units. 1 plus 3 is 4. So that means between 3 to 7, at any meeting point, the total distance will be 4. So answer will be 3 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 7. Conclusion, if the right hand side value is equal to the distance between two critical points you will get a range and the range is between the critical points case 3 what if the right hand side value is less than the distance between the critical points mod x minus 3 plus mod x minus 7 equal to 2 in such a case you will not get any value for x with because of the simple reason a and b the distance between them is 4 but the right hand side it is saying 2 so they cannot meet in between a cannot meet b, reach point b b cannot reach point a because the distance between two critical points is greater than the right hand side value henceforth no value of x i hope the concept is clear in the next video we will discuss about what happens if there is an minus sign between the modulus functions. Thank you for watching the video.